Hi everybody, this is Jenny Schultz, Dr. Physical Therapy from Legacy Physical Therapy, coming at you today to talk to you about movement. So I kind of phrased my talk today called Motion is Lotion. We're going to talk about the importance of movement. My key phrase, motion is lotion, to think about how often we move and what it does to the body and what it does to our pelvic floor. I think everybody knows that in our lives, we are far too sedentary. The more sedentary we are, we can become stiffer, we can become weaker, and actually have symptoms of increased pain and pressure on our joints and our muscles. So I wanna say motion is lotion for our body, or if you wanna think about it as motion is lubrication for our bodies, and not just for joints, but also for our muscles and how we move. Motion or movement helps lubricate our joints, lengthens our muscles, and increases the circulation in our body. Motion improves our cardiovascular health, and it's also important for the pelvic floor muscles. When I talk about the pelvic floor muscles, I thought it was important to do a little review over the pelvic floor. I have the pelvis right here. What exactly is the pelvic floor? The pelvic floor are the muscles that are located on the bottom part of our pelvis. They're located internally from our pubic bone back to our tailbone. This is more of looking at the internal side. If you were laying on your back, these muscles are actually pelvic floor as well. These muscles have multiple functions. They are actually skeletal muscles just like our biceps or quadriceps. So they can react just how our body with any other motion. But I thought it was important to talk about the five functions of the pelvic floor. They have, they're called sphincteric muscles. So they actually open and close. They stabilize. So they stabilize the bony structure of our pelvis. Now they're also supportive. They support our internal organs from our bladder for the females, our uterus and ovaries. They give support to our internal organs. They also provide in sexual pleasure, sexual health, and sexual gratification. They also act like a sump pump with lymphatic fluid. These pelvic floor muscles have multiple functions, maybe as compared to a little bit less of just like your bicep. Movement is very important to our body, but also to our pelvic floor muscles. Like I said, when I started today, when we are sedentary for long periods of time, this can cause prolonged stress on our joints and our muscles and to our pelvic floor. This prolonged stress can contribute to overall pain, stiffness, lack of mobility, decrease in flexibility, and they can also increase symptoms of low back pain, hip pain, pelvic pain. They can actually increase the signs and symptoms of urinary incontinence. They can increase in pelvic pressure and cause increase in symptoms of pelvic organ prolapse. Being sedentary can also reduce the effectiveness and the function of those five functions of the pelvic floor. And they also can decrease your spinal stability and lead to pain and prolonged tension. I like to say getting up and moving is the best way to improve your mobility, enhance your flexibility, reduce your pain, and improve your cardiovascular health. Depending on your current fitness level or your health status, even small movements and time spent intentionally moving will improve your overall health. So I have a few tips for you. What can you do on a simple basis to help improve your movement, to help improve your health? I say getting up every hour and moving, even just standing. So if you're sitting on a desk, getting up for a couple minutes every hour, check in and see how you're moving, get some blood flow. And I also like to say at lunch, even if you're working from home or if you're working in the office setting, go for a walk, eat your food, go for a walk, even if it's cold outside, get up and walk around the office. This will help just to get you moving, make you feel better. The last time we talked, we talked about our posture. So when you're going through these motions, make sure you're maintaining that nice, safe, good posture, whether you're sitting at work or if you're standing. I also talk about doing some gentle, just gentle stretching, just to get some good range of motion throughout your whole body. Making these small changes to your daily routine by including motion to your entire body will make you feel better throughout the entire day. I like to say, remembering that motion is lotion 
and intentional movements will improve your flexibility, your joint health. They will also enhance your fitness or your athletic performance level and help you with your posture. Also knowing that sedentary lifestyles can cause prolonged stress and tension on your joints and muscles that can contribute to pain, reduce flexibility, muscular imbalances, muscular weaknesses, and can contribute to injuries. When people say if they have pain and they're a little afraid to move, this is where I say another great tip is connecting with a pelvic floor physical therapist to make sure the motions you're choosing are safe and healthy for your, your current health status or your current fitness level to make sure you're performing safe and healthy and effective movement. If you're having signs and symptoms of pelvic pain or low back pain or coming back from an injury, it's always really good to check in with a pelvic floor th physical therapist. And so what can a pelvic floor physical therapist do? They can check your posture. They can actually check in with your pelvic floor muscles, checking in, looking at what these pelvic floor muscles are doing to see what their status is and how you use them with the rest of your body. And then they'll help you develop a plan for to improve mobility, to improve your pain, and improve your function in a healthy, safe way. They can help you develop a plan and help you reduce strain and pain on those muscles. In short, my tip is get up and move. Be gentle, be safe with your movements, but make sure we're not staying in one motion, one sedentary position for too long. You want to improve your health and you want to get out there and move. Motion is movement or lubrication for the body. Reduces pain, reduces stiffness, and can help improve your overall health specifically for your cardiovascular health, your entire body health, and for your pelvic floor health.